Hi everybody, this is Odd Samurai and today I'm gonna be reacting to Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 Episode 22. Uh, so I checked and I'm pretty sure there's only one more episode after this in this season. So yeah, I wonder how it is that we're going to stop or, or pause the story at the moment because, you know, considering the way that we finished the last episode, I, I am curious. Also, there's like uh, preview images that sometimes come out before an episode releases. Like, they're like official, they're not like leaks or anything. So I saw that uh, Choso is going to come back this week, so... Yeah, if I'm not surprised that he was like, oh shit, it's because, yeah, I'm expecting it from that. Although I am curious how, you know, like the last time we saw him, he was having a mental and emotional breakdown. And we didn't get any more from that. He just kind of disappeared. And then Mimiko and Nanako uh, were there to feed uh, Yuji a finger and that's about it. We don't know exactly where Chozo went. Uh, I, I would, I've been wondering a few episodes ago but I didn't bring it up. So I guess a good thing though that it seems like he wasn't in the vicinity when Sukuna uh, killed a bunch of people when finding Makura. But there it is. We had last episode uh, man, that was a lot. Uh, we had Todo and Yuji still fighting uh, Mahito. And then we had uh, Todo make it so that... Uh, what was it? Uh, well, he uh, got uh, fighting with Mahito by himself for like, I want to say like a minute at most. That, that's still very lethal on its own. And then uh, Yuji came in though quickly and that's when Mahito decided to use his uh, domain expansion. And actually that's pretty impressive of him that just by seeing someone use it once, uh, meaning you know when he saw Gojo do that, with that alone he was like oh let me do that and actually managed to do it. Which is just use his domain for like point two seconds something like that so that you know it would be super quick uh and Sukuna wouldn't feel you know he, his uh soul wouldn't come into contact with Sukuna's soul for uh enough time so that Sukuna would uh counter attack or that he would feel threatened enough to counter attack and that's where we had, you know, Mahito and uh, telling him, you know, like, this is fine, you know, just let me do my thing. And then with that, uh, we saw that uh, a part of Todo started becoming, you know, like a transfigured human. So he cut off that uh, hand. So for that alone, he will not be able to use Boogie Woogie anymore, which is pretty big since, you know. That's a big thing of uh, being able to use cursed energy is to use your, your cursed ability. And now that he's like that, then maybe he can still be a sorcerer, but he won't be able to fight, you know, uh, opponents of a high caliber anymore. And then uh, with the other arm, we had the, the imagination sequence where uh, Takada-chan, his famous favorite idol, he kind of like danced with him and attacked Mahito uh, with him. That that was so fun. And then by the end of it, you know, he managed to use Boogie Woogie by um, basically uh, doing a high five with Mahito. Although with that alone, uh, even if it, was, if it was like that quick, his, his hand was still pretty, they looked charred, so, but at least he didn't fully lose that one. Regardless, after that he wasn't able to um, really uh, and join the fight again. Although when we, you know, 
uh, Eugene and Mahito keep fighting. Mahito uses a different form. I'm not exactly sure how that one came to be. Like, we kind of get a semi-explanation. Uh, but I, that kind of, um, I didn't really get it still. Regardless, uh, Toto does manage to get up and uh, trick Mahito into believing that he can still use Boogie Woogie, which actually, <laughs> it's kind of like uh, a, a reference to Hunter Hunter when Netero says, you know, a prayer comes from the heart and he uses the Guanyin Bodhisattva with one arm. That's super cool. And also when Yuji is about to uh, attack Mahito, I don't remember what part, but I saw uh, a tweet uh, comparing the two and it looked when uh, Gon uses uh, Jachanken on Neferpito. So <laughs> that that's cool since we do know that Gege has used inspiration from Hunter x Hunter. Uh, but after that, yeah, Mahito pretty much uh, with that alone being uh, tricked into believing Toto can still use Boogie Woogie gets uh, distracted enough so that Yuji can get the upper hand and by that um, you know for all intents and purposes it looks like Mahito has been defeated but uh, well we'll see this episode what happens but I, I was definitely thinking that uh, you know, the way that uh, Mahito was acting and being pretty much, uh, you know, a hypocrite. Now, granted, you know, there could be other curses that could be hypocrites. But uh, from the main ones, uh, yeah, they didn't really seem like they were actually scared of this. Like, you know, like the... Uh, Lobster, Jogo, uh, Nanami, they weren't scared of death, they were more like scared of not uh, achieving their goals, or as Mahito would see that he is indeed dead. And I mean, makes complete sense. He hasn't really been alive for long. For a curse, he's pretty much a kid, which, you know, it's Easy to forget considering how many people he's killed, but you know, it, he's a curse. So of course, you know, that's that's a nature of his. And even then it's, you know, like I said, pretty impressive that he was able to uh, uh, survive this long on just how much talent he had, despite barely having any experience and not being like a, uh, disaster curse so yeah props to him but regardless you know I already said my piece on what I think about you know uh, UG showing uh, obsessive hatred there with how much he wants to uh, eliminate Mahito and every single incarnation that uh, appears after him as well as any curse that comes in his path as well. So, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But, you know, like I said, you know, there, there's, uh, there's a chance that uh, Yuji will manage to uh, change from this again into his more I at least beat idealistic self, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I, I think it, it would be weird if Yuji didn't act like this after what he just went through, so yeah. With that said, I've been talking way too much, but uh, you know, last episode was, it was just that, uh, good so without further ado let's start in five four three two one go one two three but yeah now uh Fegeto has arrived and has asked Mahito if he wants help so we'll see what uh 
is going to come up of that. Yeah, Shibuya no longer exists. Not really. Oh, Panda. Hey, last time we saw both of them was before Sukuna fought Makora. So, I'm glad they're both doing okay, all things considered. Yeah, but I can't argue against that, honestly. What just happened is like, yeah, I, I understand that. Oh. Oh, hell no. What the fuck is this? Why? Why? Gigi. Oh, why did you ruin... A character that could have been just fine but no you just had to make her a sexual predator Ugh, so gross All chose those fake memories. She was a station. What is he? And what is the connection between you two? That's more than a better question. Right. He's using curse uh, manipulation, right? Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't have it. 
he, pr he probably has very little energy to keep fighting someone who uh, hasn't really fought this whole night. Ooh, not really. No. Why did Mahito just try to attack him? Oh shit, no way, he's going to absorb him? Okay, I did not see this coming. He's gonna make him part of his repertoire of curses he can manipulate? If what I'm thinking is correct, uh, that's pretty bad. Oh, I totally forgot about the opening. Oh my goodness. So much stuff. Uh, honestly, I'm surprised. But that we got, took so long to get back to fake ghetto in Yuji but no yeah makes sense now that from this we get to the opening is Choso actually going to try and help Yuji? that'd be wild but there's still a lot to, like I said, understand about that situation. You are my special. Mm -hmm. I show that you got your endeavor. You are my special, we're special. Mm. Maybe. Like him? Not the real ghetto, right? Uh huh. But so what we just saw, it's basically, yeah, an example that that is not the case. Oh no. Oh no. You're kidding. So, will he be able to use tr Idol Transfiguration? Oh. Okay, the Kyoto students are here. At first I was like, oh, maybe they're not going to be able to, you know, get to do anything since so the Mahito fights this 
pretty much over. Oh no. Uh, yeah. We still have someone to deal with. Is this me one? Uh Oh shit Me wonder Whoa Was Usumaki used in JJK Zero? Who was it? <gasps> no way. Oh. Kusakabe! Ooh, okay, that was very cool of him. They did not actually expect that. Hmm. Oh, Chuzo is already there? <laughs> okay. Huh? Yeah, th uh, that's him! Huh? Oh! What? I'm gonna have to... Look that over. <gasps> uh, Udome? Really curious about you just reaction to Choso saying all that. Come on, Oritoshi. Oh, 
that's how he felt that at the beginning. I mean, at the end of season one. Oh, because of his technique, he's that sure. Oh, he's aiming it at Oraume, not fake Keto. Whoa. Go ahead, Choso, go ahead. <laughs> Oh, even after that whole fight with Yuji, he's still able to do all this? I guess everyone must be shocked because no one is trying to jump fake ghetto right now. Aside from Chosel. The the y'all the choreography is really cool. Eesh. Oh that's nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> In a way, it does look like a total situation. With Yuji putting his hair up like that, <laughs> he looks more like Sukuna. Okay, finally everyone's gonna join in, too. Oh shit, of course. I forgot about Uraume. Damn, it's that strong? Oh, suck up, eh? Ooh. Oh, they can regenerate? Uh. Ooh. Yuji? 
he actually helped him. Mm. <laughs> I, I, this is not the time for that. What is Uraume's motivation to be in all this? E. You know, the animation for this give me Todoroki from MHA season 2 vibes. Surely not, but who helped? Oh, it's a. Um, Todos, uh, masters. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. She appeared in the flashback. <laughs> Tsukumoyuki, that's her name. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I still, even now, after the whole episode, I'm still like, how are they going to just end the season, the next episode? What? What's going to happen? Unless Yuki is like... A lot more stronger than I would have ever, ever expected. I don't really see fake it though. I'm still calling him fake ghetto because, you know, he said, call me whatever you want. <laughs> uh, I don't see him and Uraume retreating. Because, I mean, they were having a pretty easy time dealing with everyone there before uh, Yuki arrived. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, preview. That's Yuki's voice, I think. Gate closed. Gate closed. And that that makes me think of Brayson Realm. And that's what he said when he closed the thing, you know, and made it a, a cube with Gojo inside it. But other than that, I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Uh, man, the, the stuff with Choso. <laughs> like, even though... You know, with what we've been given so far, I I understand <laughs> where he's coming from. It's still so bizarre to see him acting like this. <laughs> I mean, it works. I mean, hell, I definitely prefer him as an ally, that's for sure. Uh, he was already cool before, but now, now he's actually, you know... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ride or die for Eugene because he sees his, uh, he's his Onichan. Which I love as what he uses. Not Aniki, not Onisan, Nisan, but Onichan. <laughs> and he wants Yuji to call him that as well. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the details on how that works. Like, yeah, okay, so he has an ability where, like, anyone who he's, uh, or brothers that he's blood-related with, he will have basically 
be informed or, you know, be told that a big change is happening within them. But specifically, death, for sure. And that's what he got with Yuji. So that's why he's so sure they're brothers. But other than that, I with the, the thing about, you know, I have three parents, my mom, um, the curse spirit that impregnated my mother. It's a wild idea. I don't know how even that works. And I don't really, sh I'm not really sure what they're implying. Is the curse spirit supposed to be fake ghetto? Is fake ghetto <laughs> uh, technically both a, a blood parent of Yuji and um, Choso? Or am I getting that wrong? Please let me know. Yeah, because there's no... Okay, and the man who mixed his blood into the affair. So maybe they're, really, they're, they're referring to the man? But like... And then after this, he screams... Yeah, the, the one who took with my mother. The lonesome Kamon Noritoshi. But, like, when the characters hear him say that, they're like, well, how can that be? He was alive, like, 150 years ago? So, maybe it's not necessarily that he was alive? But it was just that he it was his blood? I... I don't know. <laughs> Please, I, I, I feel like this might be easier than what, uh, what I'm thinking it is. And I'm just over complicating it. But please don't let me know <laughs> if it is something that, you know, I can put together with the information that I've been giving this episode. <clears throat> But regardless, uh, everyone joined the fight, which is cool, uh, you know, definitely. It, as cool as Choso versus uh, Fegeto was in a 1v1, uh, yeah, it's definitely definitely more smart uh, to just uh, fight him with a lot more people. Although, granted, the fact that, well, we don't know necessarily. That Uraume is uh, weaker than Fake Ghetto, but the way that they were able to um, basically remove really string everyone with ice, I know, uh, you know, very, I would say, easily kill with the ice. I would say that that's pretty bad considering Fake Ghetto wasn't doing that. Then again, he wants everyone alive, apparently, which I don't really know why. I would say, you know, better reasons. We can't let everyone die. <laughs> we gotta have some characters to survive through this, but... You know, surely there's a character reason for that. And yeah, it seems like Uraume is finally starting to become a character. Because before, we just had like a few seconds of scenes with them. So now they're becoming an active participant in the story. Though that, like I said, like why are they doing this? Who are they to Sukuna and uh, Feigeto? We don't know, but hopefully we'll find out eventually. And then we had Kusakabe actually getting a cool moment which was him uh, defending and protecting Miwa. And it seemed like he's the sensei of uh, some of the Kyoto students, but maybe not all of them. And yeah, the scene at the beginning when uh, Akusakawa told the panda, you know, uh, basically, 
if it comes to a reopening uh, UG's execution again and putting it, you know, like, do we actually do it now? I am going to be in favor of it. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like as much as I love Yuji, this just, uh, and even if it seems like cold, it just, it makes sense on a, you know, on a, it just, it makes sense on a, I don't want to say <laughs> utilitarian level, but just, you know, in the sense of like, well, we kill one person so that another 50,000 people don't die. Yeah, I can't really argue that logic now, considering before it was a hypothetical that that could happen. But now that this is definitely something that did happen. And even though, you know, UG wasn't, I mean, it wasn't because of him that he let Sukuna out. But, you know, it was circumstances that he couldn't avoid. Like him only getting killed by Choso and then being fed a lot of fingers. That's just, it couldn't be helped that that Sukuna came out. But people are not going to look at the surrounding circumstances is just give him a pass. He promised that he would keep Sukuna in check. And even though it turned out, you know, if that was dependent on whether he was strong enough to survive a fight with Choso by himself, that's still something they were counting on him to not do. So, yeah. And yeah, before when I said, you know, I, I could not care for Meme, this is why, because I knew uh, something like this was going to happen. Not exactly, but I knew, you know, she was, uh, she was grooming her little brother, so. And now I can say it, and fuck her, I hope she dies eventually. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, we'll see. Uh, how the next episode uh, unfolds and what does Yuki bring to the table. Also, what the hell has she been doing all this time? What's her deal? She's a Jujutsu sorcerer, but she doesn't spend any time around Jujutsu Kai. <laughs> Unless she's in a flashback. Uh, and I am curious to see uh, what if she have any reaction to what happened to Toto as well. Uh, but with that said, that will be all. Uh, thank you so much for <laughs> if you watch the whole thing. Uh, but if you liked it, please like and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.